Social media will destroy society by wrecking your attention span and making you think your opinion is valid. It has also allowed a diverse array of opinions and beliefs to flourish in fringe online communities. The interconnectivity of social media has given all types of random people a venue to share their madness with the, all of humanity. Subsequently, it has given us the illusion that our personal lives are astoundingly more significant than they actually are. Bloggers and YouTubers think they have the social impact of mass media conglomerates and legitimate authors and journalists. The nominal connection to the masses on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit makes social media users think that they are, in, are personally linked to media outlets and celebrities. In short, it's given the social media faithful a major delusion that they are broadcasting something worthwhile to the world at large when really all they are doing is shouting irrelevant nonsense, nonsense into virtually insignificant pockets of online space. By and large, people post things on social media because they want others to think their musings or opinions are important. The whole reason social media has been the success it is, is because the global society has become obsessed with in-group approval and mass affirmation. Eventually, these people will come to the conclusion that their online gibberish has been utterly insignificant to the whole of humanity. Web activism is the ultimate oxymoron. The celebration of inactivity as some kind of legitimate, meaningful, personal behaviour. We all remember the mass movement where everybody changed their Facebook profile pic to that of a cartoon character to combat child abuse, right? Well, do you care to take a guess as to how much capital that little cyber demonstration raised for actual child advocacy groups? If you guessed absolutely nothing, you'd be right on the money. That, in a nutshell, demonstrates everything wrong with social media as a cultural movement. It's highly depersonalised and highly ineffective behaviour, perceived to be individualised and influential. The reality? All it is is mere submersion into the self of the self into an amorphous culture, hardly any different from passively watching television or listening to a car radio. The only difference is, social media users think they're doing something by doing nothing, that their online postings constitute some sort of legitimate valuable commentary. We literally celebrate our own laziness, having convinced ourselves that simply placing a hashtag in front of the political term constitutes a real response to something. Social media use is nothing more than a vehicle for us to spit out our most insignificant thoughts and a medium whose primary use is quickly transforming from meaningless chatter to more nefarious uses, including stalking, harassing and even facilitating actual crimes. Instead of a social tool, Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat are probably only a few years away from becoming social weapons, online libraries of our worst behaviours visible to anybody with an interest. Today, social media is mostly pointless babble, but tomorrow, expect it to make all of our lives a real living hell and possibly destroy society itself. Alas, social media appears to be here to stay. I fear we cannot eradicate it, so the best we can hope for is to contain it, keep it in check, and just pray that the worst case scenario doesn't come to pass. And the worst part? Unlike an actual tumour, this is a cancer we, can't, we can easily share with each other. Reading and understanding content requires an attention span to really grasp the context of the written word. You have to focus in on the wording and assess passages as a standalone thoughts and ideas the comp and components of larger contexts. Social media communication doesn't result in the same narrative. Indeed, it's just a jumbled mishmash of random thoughts, YouTube videos and GIF images that tell no real story or make any sort of central statements about anything. Sites like Twitter hasn't made us wittier and more concise, it's just led to us mashing out banal messages littered with hashtags and at symbols that more closely resemble lines of corrupted computer code than human typed messages. In conclusion, social media is very capable of destroying society in a variety of ways, including wrecking everyone's attention spans, making people too opinionated, and also making us celebrate our own laziness and inactivity eventually to the point where we can't function.